Hello, you are watching BBC News. We are interrupting our scheduled programme now to take you to the live shot that we have at the top of Mount Everest, which comes to us courtesy of the British explorer Daniel Hughes. He has just scaled the world's highest peak. He's trying to raise money for the British charity Comic Relief. And this is a very special moment indeed, because Daniel is in vision from the very top of the mountain. He is 8,000. 848 meters above sea level. Daniel, amazing to see you there. How do you feel? Oh, it's, uh, it's been a, a very hard 24 hours, I'll be honest. Uh, we went up from Camp Phillips to the high camp uh, yesterday, yesterday morning, and then I've literally walked for 12 hours uphill. But you're right, it's a very special day indeed uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, because of the nose. This is the highest ever in nose. And there we go. And I stick it onto my uh, face there. I don't know if you can see that now. So that's the highest ever lead nose. I'm trying to raise a million pounds for comic relief. It's also very special because, as you can see, this is the world's highest live video call. Never been done before from the, uh, the rooftop of the world. And I'm just panning around here. Hopefully it's not too windy. So, uh, just in case you were wondering, uh, we don't have a camera man with me. It's me and a pole, an HTC smartphone, and an in my sight big I'm made of. And of course, my red nose. Uh, it's a very proud moment to be here. It's uh, two and a half years in the making. Daniel, it's fantastic. Could you do us a favour? We can hear you very clearly, by the way, and the picture is fantastic. Can you pan around to give our viewers the view that you can That's see right. from the top of that mountain? Well, I've got to introduce my Sherpa here. I wouldn't be here without Tendi. He's an absolute legend. He, uh, he's been helping me for the last few days. Uh, the Sherpas, no one would get to the top of these mountains without them. So, uh, massive thank you to Tendi. And, uh, oh, just about to step in a big hole. So I'm just going to pad around now. That's just incredible. Keep panning because... It's totally fantastic to see that. Are you wearing an oxygen mask, Daniel? Did you wear it most of the climb? Uh, no, I only uh, put the oxygen mask on a, a couple of days ago. Uh, the air down at base camp alone is about half of what you'd have at sea level. And up here, it's about 10 to 20 percent. And actually, it's not that there's no oxygen, it's the pressure. So uh, having uh, liquid oxygen with me, mixing with this oxygen mask, helps me breathe up here. I, I wouldn't get very far without it, I'll be honest. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, very exciting to be here. And uh, if you do want to donate a pound to Comic Relief, every million dot com is where you need to go now. In fact, I don't know if the uh, donations have gone up, actually, uh, in the last 24 hours. Hopefully they have. Yes, hopefully they have, because your efforts certainly deserve some sort of recompense, and you're doing it for charity. Can people watch your ascent online? Can they see how you reach that point where you are now? Absolutely. Uh, you, can, uh, you can check me live on everestmillion.com. Uh, there's tweets, there's videos. I'm even going to upload a, uh, a picture from the summit here which I don't think has ever been done before either. So uh, you'll, you'll see me with my red nose next to all the prayer flags and I'll go on everestmillion.com in the next 10 minutes or so, which is, uh, I think is pretty clever. How difficult do you think the descent is going to be? Oh, well, uh, to be honest, I'm pretty tired. And actually the descent is actually in many ways the more dangerous part of the, uh, the, the climb, I suppose, if you can call it that. So uh, some very, very precarious bits to go down, very steep, uh, very slippy bits of rock. It's, um, it's it, undescribable, actually, how to get up here. And I, I just can't believe the 1953 party, 60 years ago, how they came up here. I'm using fixed lines, so I'm relatively safe. These guys literally came up, went together with a couple of ice axes, just unbelievable. It really, really is incredible. 
Daniel, we cannot thank you enough and so many, many congratulations because you've done something fantastic and to let us share your experience, it's a true pleasure that you should give us that honour. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you. EverestMillion.com. Thank you very much. OK, well, you know where you can go to donate money to the charity that Daniel is raising money for. It's uh, Comic Relief and uh, it's quite something to be able to see those pictures. It may never have been done before to get a live picture from the top of Mount Everest and to be able to do an interview from there. You're watching BBC News. Uh, we will be back uh, in about eight and a half minutes uh, with the main news stories. But for the moment, we're going to return you back to the programme you were watching before we got that great interview with Daniel.